Why hello there beautiful people, welcome back to Craniac Gaming, and in this video, as you see from the title, we are trying something completely different. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone just a little bit. We're going to try out the new Superstar KO mode. Well, it's not really new, it's been out for a month and I just never really got around to trying it out. But Headstrong, who is a good friend of the channel, make sure you guys check him out, the link to his channel is going to be in the description along with some of his Superstar KO modes, but he really talked up this mode. He said he feels like it's the best game mode in this game. So, I got curious. I was like, let me try this mode out. Now, I'm not a big multiplayer guy by any means. You're not going to see me play Ultimate Team on this channel, and you're probably not going to see me play much Draft Champions or even online head-to-head -head at all. I figured I'd give this mode a try and see if I liked it. So, if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see me do more of these, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys slap that like button. We get the 30 likes and I'll keep this thing going. Now, just so you guys know, this was supposed to be a live com, but OBS decided not to record my voiceover, so I'm stuck doing a post com. I know, I'm disappointed too. I miss the live coms just as much as you guys do. But... The next video should be a live com as far as Superstar KO goes if I decide to keep going with this series. So for those of you unfamiliar with Superstar KO mode, basically it's a quick way to play with your favorite stars. You pick a team and you pick some superstars as well. You got eight different teams you can pick from and basically you get one drive, you start from your own 25 and if you score a touchdown you win. After each team gets the possession, if nobody scores, you get a tug of war where you each have three chances to move the ball forward. If you score, you win, but whoever has the ball on the other person's side of the field wins. And here we go, guys. Trying something new. It should be a lot of fun. So the teams that I have to pick from are Dot City, the Magicians, the Snappers, the Record Breakers, the Shutdown, the Rhythm, the Florida Keys, and the Backyard Heroes. Each team has... You know, different advantages and disadvantages, so strengths and weaknesses and whatnot. But the team I picked, the Snappers, I know Thanos probably loves this team because it's balanced as in his eyes all things should be. Bruce Arians is the coach of this team, and since I'm doing a Buccaneers franchise, go check that out, by the way. I figured I'd pick his team. Now, the first offensive player I decided to pick up, it was a choice between DeAndre Hopkins, Melvin Gordon, Todd Gurley, and Ezekiel Elliott, and I decided to go with Andre Hopkins. Forgive me, fellow Titans fans. I had to get this man. He is the best receiver in the league, in my opinion, at least. Now we get a second offensive player. I had a choice between Mike Evans, T.Y. Hilton, Patrick Mahomes, and Saquon Barkley. Honestly, in retrospect, I probably should have picked Mahomes. And in this video, you'll see why I probably should have picked Mahomes and why I'll pick him next time. But I picked Saquon Barkley to have a good running game. And now, defensively, we got Earl Thomas, Demarcus Lawrence, Joey Bosa, and Calias Campbell. And I decided to pick up Earl Thomas. I just felt like he'd have the most impact out of all the defenders listed there. So Earl Thomas is the one I picked up. And the first team we're playing against is Dot City. And he has Bobby Wagner, Stephon Gilmore... And Miles Garrett on his team. So he definitely has a tough defense. But he doesn't have any stars on his offense. So he might be in some trouble. So the stadium here looks really arcadey. You can definitely tell this is a very arcadey game mode. But here we go, guys. So we start off on defense. He has Nick Foles at quarterback and Ty Montgomery as his running back. He's going to drop back. He's going to let it fly. And yeah, Earl Thomas comes up big with us already. First play in Superstar KO mode. And he might take it all the way back now. Up the right sideline. 10-5. Touchdown. We get a pick six on my very first play in Superstar KO mode. That is crazy. And just like that, we win the first game in just one play. I mean, he's got to be sick, honestly. I don't know what he was thinking there. But I'm not complaining. So whenever you win, you actually get to pick players off of your opponent's team. But I decided not to pick Gilmore, Wagner, or Garrett. I decided to go with Richard Sherman. Because my assumption is most people are going to be passing a lot in this game mode. So I need as many studs in the secondary as I can possibly get. And now I'm playing against a guy who is also using the snappers. He got John Randall, Jerry Rice, Juju Smith-Schuster, and his own Richard Sherman on his team. 
This should be interesting. So again, we start out on defense. He's got a first and 10. Here's a play fake. He also has Jared Goff, obviously, because we're using the same team. And he just checks down to Derek Watt. I mean, that's my fault, honestly, because I had nobody in the flat. I was running cover three, and we're all covering the deep zones. So now first and 10, short pass to Devontae Freeman. Nice juke move there. I just got really emotional with that hit stick, but I bring him down just shy of the first down marker. Now second and one, he's out of the shotgun. He hands it off to Freeman, and he's going to pick up the first down on a one-yard gain. Now first and 10. He's looking, throws over the middle, and I thought he caught it for a second with Rice, but we're able to tip it away. It's now second and ten. They're on a little pitch with James Conner, and he's going nowhere. Got he. That run got shut down like I did when I asked my crush out to prom my senior year, but we ain't going to talk about that. Now third and ten. He's going to throw short to Jerry Rice, and we're going to stop him just before he got the first down marker. Now fourth and one, and he's going to look to throw to the running back, but we tip it away. And we give the ball back on down. So now first and ten. I'm going to show off the reason why I got Saquon Barkley. If I didn't run into that defender, that's easily a touchdown. But instead, it's just a 17-yard game, but I'll take it. And now you're going to see exactly why I probably should have picked up Patrick Mahomes when I had the chance. Golf is just garbage. Now second and ten. I'm going to throw over the middle, and we find Larry Legend. Larry Fitzgerald up to the 49-yard line. Now third and one. I give it to Barkley, and I thought he had the first down off forward progress, but it's fourth and inches. So there's no kicking in this mode, so I have to go for it. I run a little pitch to Barkley, but he sniffs it out from the start. He shuts it down, and now we're in tug-of-war mode where me and my opponent are going to alternate three plays. He gets a play, then I get a play, then he gets a play, then I get a play, then he gets a play. Then, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And no, he tries to go deep to Jerry Rice, but Earl Thomas says, no way, Jose. So now here's our first play of the tug of war. And I'm going to throw over the middle. I get picked off. Just trying to force it. And the ball goes back to the 50 on a pick. Now he's going to send two receivers inside, and he finds Greg Olson, but he couldn't hold on to it. So now here's my second play. We're just stuck at the 50 now. It might end up being a tie. And I'm going to throw it in the middle. And it was tipped in the air but caught by Mohamed Sanu. And on top of that, he got called for roughing the passer. And now not only do I keep the ball, but now I have the ball at the 27-yard line. And I throw it over the middle. Find Larry Legend. And this boy's just dolphin diving all over the place. And Larry Legend going to punch it into the end zone. So I get the dub, the second dub in a row. In order to become champion, you got to win four in a row. But I'm halfway there now. And just two more victories away from being the champ. This one was much tougher than the first game, obviously. But either way, a win is a win. So I decided to pick up Mike Evans. I had a chance to pick him up before, but now I have a second chance. And I'm going to pick him up. I had a choice between Kelsey, Odell, Jerry Rice, and two Jujus. But I took Mike Evans instead. And I got Mike Evans and DeAndre Hopkins going up against the rhythm now. We got Jalen Ramsey, Lawrence Taylor, Odell Beckham, Calais Campbell, and Patty Mahomes. So he has a Mahomes. If we can beat this guy, then we can pick him up and then have Mahomes for our fourth matchup to decide if we're champ or not. But then we lose connection. Uh, that's the one thing tough thing about playing multiplayer and it counts as a loss against us for god knows what reason but i don't know what i do know is i actually had a lot of fun playing superstar ko mode in the limited time that i played it and if you want to play in online mode that isn't draft champions and also is an ultimate team you want to play a mode where you don't have to do all the microtransactions and whatnot to boost your team up and whatnot I would definitely say play Superstar KO mode. It is definitely a fun little mode. I'm not going to say that I'll play it over franchise mode, but Superstar KO mode is definitely a mode that I'll be playing a lot for the course of Madden 20. Now, if you made it this far in the video, you are the greatest of all time. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If we get the 30 likes, I will keep going with the Superstar KO mode. Maybe on a very limited basis. Maybe I'll do like a video a week for Superstar KO. Hell, maybe I'll team up with a few of my friends to play Superstar KO mode. You can do 2 versus 2 and 3 versus 3 in this game as well. Well, this mode, I mean. I mean, you can do it in other game modes as well, but this mode 
in particular, you can do two versus two and three versus three. But let me know if that's something you guys want to see on the channel once again. And if you want to see some more Superstar KO possibly on the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button. As well as if you want to see some more franchise content, which is my specialty, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Also, make sure you turn your notifications on as well to join the notification gang. And if you guys like what I do on the channel and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron. The link to my Patreon page is going to be in the description. A big shout out to all my current patrons, Franchise Gaming, Vita Productions, Colin Mentor, and Joshua Fernald, as well as my only Twitch sub, C Codas. Even a dollar a month helps me out exponentially. But like I always say, guys, patronage and donations are never required for me to do what I do, but I always very much appreciate them. And I just appreciate the fact that you guys come out and watch my videos, honestly, above anything else. That's going to do it for me, guys. You have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day and night whenever you're watching this. And like I always say, guys, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. And I'm out of here. Deuces.